In this video, I'm going to talk about some of our formatting options in MATLAB. I'm going to use this document, part 006 formatting. All of these documents that I demonstrate in all these videos can be found through a link in the description. Double click on part 006, open it up. MATLAB provides a variety of formatting options, and once you set the formatting, it persists through all the MATLAB documents that you might choose to use until MATLAB is closed, at which point it resets. Scrolling on down. The first formatting I'm going to show you is format short G. This is what I'm going to use in the vast majority of the examples throughout all this video series. Short G causes four decimal digits to be displayed, and there's a certain cutoff when MATLAB decides that it should use scientific notation. I'm going to run this code section by clicking anywhere in the section, holding control, pressing enter, and these are my results. For short G, when I print out 355 divided by 113, this is my result right here four digits are displayed. Scrolling slightly further down, if I change the format to long and display out the exact same division, I get many more decimal places displayed. It's important to note that formatting does not affect the accuracy of the value. It only affects what is displayed in the command window. This very accurate value here with many decimal places is the same in memory as this one right here. It's only with short g, the rounded version is shown. Another format is format bank, and then when we do the division, we only see two digits. Bank format, just showing the pennies, basically. Scrolling further down, format rat, which is short for either ratio or rational numbers, and then displaying the division, we actually see the number as a fraction. Continuing on downward, do we want to display our output single-spaced or double-spaced? So here I run format compact, and then display some square roots, control enter, and we see there are no spaces between these lines of output. I am still in the format rat, the ratio format or rational numbers. So right here we see the square root of 55 can be represented by this fraction. Now that's probably not what I want. I want to go back to format short g, so I'm just going to type into the command window, format short g, and then this format will persist through the rest of the use of my document, through the rest of my use of MATLAB, until I change it or I close MATLAB. So I'm going to rerun this section here, control enter, and now we see it displayed as a decimal. Scrolling on down. If you prefer double space, or you want to temporarily switch it to double space and switch it back, you can put in format loose, the opposite of compact. Or well, in this case, it's the opposite. Control enter, and now we see it's much more spaced out. It's double spaced, all that output. Scrolling on down. If you see an E in a number, that means that number is being displayed in a scientific notation format. So check out these numbers right here, these displays. Let's run this section, control enter. It displays the exact same result in all three cases. That is because 38E14 is simply a way of representing 38 times 10 to the 14th. Or if we had to, we could write out all the zeros. But this is problematic because it can be really easy to have one too many or too few zeros. So I recommend one of these two formats for writing very large or very small numbers. Scrolling on down, for the very small numbers, you would indicate, for example, 38 times 10 to the negative 14th power, so like a decimal place, and then 12 zeros and a 38, you would represent this way, or this way, or this way. Run this section, control enter, and there are results right there. And these will all display out differently depending on what format you're in. If we go back to uh, format long or long G and then run this section, yeah, it goes off the side of the page, but it's actually written in the same format right there. It's just indented differently, which is a little bit obnoxious. But if we do format rat and then rerun the section, it's a different display. It's displayed like this and the bottom section right here, then it's displayed as these very small fractions. There are other formatting options. I have not gone through all of them. If you want to see more of them, you can use help, format, hit enter. And on your command window, you will see some results on what are some of the other ways you can set up the formatting. But these are the common ones that I will tend to use, uh, and my default is going to be format short g. And that's all for this video.